a person who looked at some of my videos and I thought I'll just um, try and do this question as a reply to uh, that person and explain again how um, back titrations can be used and can be worked out. So this question asks um, about an impure sample of barium hydroxide. We wanted to find out the percentage purity of this sample, how much is in there. And they say it's been reacted with some hydrochloric acid and then it's been, so excess hydrochloric acid has been used to react with it. And then the other stuff has been reacted with sodium hydroxide of an unknown concentration. And then it gives you an idea of how to calculate the concentration of this sodium hydroxide. So let's have a look at what's going on here. First of all, I'm going to draw a little diagram, a little flow chart of what's happening. So I've got um, my sample of barium hydroxide here. I'm going to add that into a beaker of HCl which is 0.2 molar and it is how many? 100 mil because 100 mil um, is the same as 100 centimeters cubed so there you go my barium hydroxide is going in there my impure barium hydroxide is going in there what we're then going to do is react this whole thing so I'm going to take this so I've got my HCl excess and it's going to be reacted with um, how much? 10.9 mil of NaOH for unknown molarity. Okay, so that's an unknown molarity there. We don't know the molarity here, but what they've given is another a separate titration that has been used and we can find out the sodium hydroxide from this equation because we've said of the hydrochloric acid, which is from before here. So in a separate one, we know that um, 25 mil of NaOH has been titrated with 28.5 mil of HCl at 0 0.200 molar. And because it says the hydrochloric acid, we know it means this hydrochloric acid up here. So first of all, what we're going to deal with is this one here. So I'll just quickly find out. We've got a quick NaOH plus HCl. We'll go to NaCl plus H2O. Okay, one to one ratio. So we find out number of moles of hydrochloric acid equals uh, 28.0.0285 times 0 0.2 equals uh, 0 0.0285 times 0 0.2 5.7 times 10 to the power of negative 3 and that's mole of that so that means we have that will be equal to the number of mole of NaOH because our reaction is 1 to 1 it means for every 1 mole of this we have 1 mole of that reacting and we can find out the concentration of NaOH by using this as our moles. So equals N over V equals 5.7 times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by um, what's our volume? 25 mil, so 0 0.025. So we divide this by 0.025. And we found out a concentration of our sodium hydroxide is 0 0.228 molar. This is the concentration of our sodium hydroxide from our separate equation. Now, we can use this concentration of sodium hydroxide to work out how many mole of hydrochloric acid excess there is. Now, this reaction is the same. NaOH plus HCl goes to... NaCl plus H2O. So again, it's one to one ratio. So we'll work out a number of mole of NaOH equals, all right, um, 0 0.0109, because that's our volume of sodium hydroxide, times our concentration of sodium hydroxide, which we worked out from our separate titration, which is 0 0.228. That will be equal to, let's come over here, multiplied by 
0 0.0109 um, equals 2.4852 mole. Now, this, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, will be equal to the number of mole of hydrochloric acid in XS. Okay, so because we reacted without hydrochloric acid in excess, the number of mole of this is equal to the number of mole in excess there. So we need to look at next what, um, how we work out how much hydrochloric acid reacted with our barium hydroxide. So our number of mole of HCl. Oh, I'll say BaOH here, reacts with, that will be equal to the total, take away the excess, can't really see that very well, it's in the shadow. But. So the number of mole of hydrochloric acid reacted with the barium hydroxide is equal to the total, take away the excess. Our total, excuse me, all right, back to it, um, our total, of um, hydrochloric acid is how much we added to it, which will be um, NaHCl total equals 0 0.2 molar, because that's a concentration, times 0 0.1, which is equal to 0 0.02 mole. Okay, so that's how much um, we have in total. We know our excess, which is, sorry, that's times 10 to the power of, sorry, this should be times 10 to the power of negative 3, is this mole. So we have 0 0.02, take away 2.4852 times 10 to the power of negative 3, equals, um, where are we? So that... I'll do point oh two take away answer equals zero point zero one seven five mole of hydrochloric acid reacted with barium hydroxide. Can't really say that's right at the bottom there. So there's our total. So our amount of hydrochloric acid, which reacted with our barium hydroxide. Now we look at how much barium hydroxide was there. So we write an equation to so show how the hydrochloric acid reacted with the barium hydroxide. Hydrochloric acid plus barium hydroxide goes to H2O plus barium chloride. Obviously this is not balanced, so therefore we need two of these for every one of those, because we've got two hydroxides, means we need two hydrogens there. So that's your ratio. So that means if we have two to one, means the amount of barium hydroxide will be half this amount. I can do a proper ratio there for you now, but I won't do that. You'll ratio it up and work out how many moles of that is. So the number of moles of barium hydroxide will be equal to 0 0.015. 175 divided by 2, which equals, divide this by 2, 2, equals 8.76 times 10 to the power of negative 3 moles. This is how many moles 8 we have of barium hydroxide. We convert that into a mass. Now we look at our um, molar mass of BaOH2 equals um, the molar mass of barium is 137.3-ish plus 32 for two oxygens plus 2 for two hydrogens equals, um, where are we, 137.3 plus 32 plus 2 equals 171.3. Now, mass equals um, 
our number of moles, which is 8.676 times 10 to the power of negative 3, times our molar mass, which is 171.3, equals, sorry, uh, 8.76 times 10 to the power of negative 3 times 171.3 equals 1.500 grams, give or take, of 0, 01 grams, if you will, if you want to round it up properly. So this is how much you have of barium hydroxide. The question asks for you the percentage purity. So you look at, I'll put it in the middle here, so our barium hydroxide equals 1.501 grams. Our total sample is 1.6524. So our percentage of that divided by the total, 0.6524 times 100%. So let's me do that. Divided by 1.6524 times 100 equals 90.81%. All right, there we have it. So our percentage purity of barium hydroxide in our sample is 90.81%. Now this is a good question, it's a fun question to do. It took me a while to go through it, but obviously that's because I'm writing out all my working out. Um, my working out is not necessarily that neat, but you can follow along with what's happening. Um, and obviously I've gone backwards through my diagrams. Obviously I've gone with my diagrams to work out how it's going on. These diagrams help me um, because I can see where I can, what's happening in this question here. Rather than just reading through it, I can actually visualise what's happening. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, hopefully it's, um, it's good. Normally this question probably could do without um, this part here. So this separate titration is a bit weird. You wouldn't normally get a question like that stuck in there, but it's just nice to know what they mean and why they're putting that in there. So, good question. If you have any other comments on this, please give us a yell. That's it. Max titration. Um,